The uprooted leaders from Afghanistan have resumed their efforts to establish an Afghan government in exile. This is after their first attempt last month failed to produce the results. Now, plans are again underway for the formation of an Afghan government in exile, which is expected to include Afghan leaders like Abdul Rasul Sayaf, Amrullah Saleh, Ahmad Masood, Salahuddin Rabani, Abdul Rashid Dostum, Mohammed Makhik or Mohakik, Mohammed Hanif Atmar, General Atanur and Dostu are the key architects of the upcoming Afghan government in exile. After the fall of Kabul to the Taliban, Amrullah Saleh and a number of Afghan Defense Forces personnel fled to the Panjshir Valley. The Taliban later claimed to have defeated the resistance forces led by Ahmad Masood. And later, it, wasn't, it was learned that both Amrullah Saleh and Ahmad Masood, who led the resistance from Panjshir against the Taliban, were in Tajikistan. Last month, there was an announcement about the formation of a government in exile led by Amrullah Saleh, who was the first vice president in the Ashraf Ghani regime. But the group could not meet in Tajikistan as planned, and now the prospective members of the government are expected to meet soon. Kabul fell to the Taliban on August the 15th, and no country has yet recognized the Taliban government. Taliban government is seen as non-inclusive with no representation of women and minorities like Hazaras. Of the other 30 members of the Taliban cabinet, 17 are listed on the United Nations terror list. Interestingly, Afghan missions still continue to work globally as they used to under former President Ashraf Ghani. Even in countries like Pakistan, the Taliban haven't taken over the Afghan mission which continues to facilitate the transfer of Afghans back to Afghanistan.